Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about working from home and creating a workspace within a budget. Working from home can be really interesting. We can save some commute time, we can utilize that time into something else. We can enjoy a nice long breakfast hour and have a rush free morning. But the challenge of course is to keep it productive. Over the years, I could identify certain points which help me to be productive even if I am working from home. I hope they work for you too. So let's begin. If you are working from home full time then creating a workspace will be one of the best decisions to keep your work from home productive. This little space is something I created to keep me motivated. Having a designated workplace can help us be more focused and we can identify that it's the working time and when we move out of that place, the work time is over. So it's basically like a switch on, switch off. I have a full time job but it also allows me to work from home once a week or as and when necessary. So creating a workspace was one of the first things I wished once I moved into this flat. I utilized one corner of our living room to create this space. At the same time, we didn't want to overdo or invest a lot of money. Keeping everything on the budget was one of the first points that we decided on. All I knew that I wanted a desk, a comfy chair and a wire mesh where I can display photographs. Simple but we searched several local shops, Amazon, but I finally settled with this IKEA desk. Pretty simple, white and easy to clean. It serves the purpose, it is of appropriate size. It costed us 25 euros and we also saved some money with some IKEA tricks. Do let me know if you want to know how. So now that I had a base, it was all about personalizing. I didn't have a color palette initially, but it somehow turned out to be all black and white. So I started by placing a table rano, which is grey in color. It is washable and I can easily clean it. From the left on the table, I have a table lamp, which is again black, a diffuser, a pen stand, and a water bottle. I have kept the switch accessible by sticking a wire holder under the runner with the space to be clutter free but at the same time it should be functional. Next to it is my office laptop and a mouse. I used an old magazine as a mouse pad and I also have some plants. It was all black and white so I wanted lots of greens here and there and I love keeping greens around me when I'm walking it's so refreshing. Next to it is a small decor piece. It's random but absolutely cute. I've used another cable holder. It's kind of a sticker to keep the laptop charger in position. It also helps in keeping the wall clean. Over the table I have a small painting which I did back in school. It adds a nice color. Next to it I have my wire mesh where I display a lot of photographs. The photographs I love and some souvenirs. I keep on changing as per my mood. I'm a very visual person so I also put up my plans, what are my goals and something which can keep me motivated. The wall next to it was an empty space and I didn't want to keep it bare. So I took some magazine cutouts and put them in one euro frames and voila we had some beautiful colorful frames without investing much. Since the desk didn't come with any storage, 
I bought together this IKEA dryer unit which has three compartments and it was enough to fit the stationaries that I might need. Very cheap, it was around 10 euros or 9.99 something. On top of that, I have kept a plant. I love taking care of it and watch it grow. The first drawer has all the small bits and bobs that I might need that eraser, sharpener, pins, extra business cards, envelopes, calculator. The second drawer has all my extra notebooks. This is the file I use for keeping all the incoming mails and envelopes. And the last drawer has extra headphones, some notebooks, that's all. Next to it, I keep my laptop bag and a small laptop table. Since the desk is not adjustable, I wanted the chair with adjustable height to give proper back support and keep my arms in proper position to ensure an ergonomic workspace. But such chairs comes very expensive, we waited also searched in various stores but finally we found this chair free it was in good condition and we brought it home i added a cushion with black and white pattern and also kept a sweater handy it has some patches here and there but that's okay the small rug is again from ikea costed around 10.99 euros so that was it my workspace was done and I'm super happy the way it turned out and that too within budget under 50 euros I will leave links of all the products that I could find in the description box in case you want to check a little disclaimer this is not a sponsored video I just shared what I loved using Next is very common but important tip that is to freshen up. I know it's so tempting to be able to work in your PJs or sweatpants but don't be so comfortable that you fall asleep right away. At least wash your face, do your hair, apply some lip balm and you're good to go. We often lose track of time when working from home. Either we tend to incorporate personal work or indulge in some binge watching. Allocating time for every task can help us be on schedule and not extend our work hour to personal evening time. Do it on the night before or the first thing in the morning. But having a structure for the day will always help us from being over anxious. Distracted is so common, be it by the social media, a bad phone call, or the pile of utensils that might be waiting in the sink to be washed. It's hard to cut off the personal tension from work while working from home. A designated space can somehow help you forget this. Also, you can for sure keep your phone away at some place in the same room, which you cannot do while being in office. Setting up the mood always helps. For me, it's music and sometimes diffusing my favorite blends of wine. I don't know why a clutter-free and sorted environment always help me be focused. Find out what works for you. For music, I avoid playing on phone. Chances are that I might stick to Instagram while changing the song. So I use Spotify in my laptop. I love the curated playlist and the fact that I can choose them as per my mood. Taking a break is equally important, whether it's for a glass of water or stretching your arms and legs and give some rest to your eyes. I often get bored by the fact that I cannot see the outside sky or plants. So I go out maybe just in the backyard, sometimes just sit in front of it and walk. Don't forget to snack or enjoy a warm beverage of your choice. Last but 
but extremely important keeping the correct posture walking from sofa or bed is so tempting but that can severely affect our posture and can lead to back and wrist issues i am still a victim of this if you can't create a space then try investing on small tables like this this will prevent a long term damage especially if you are working full time from home so these were all my tips take whatever you like i hope this video is of some help to you and you can take some inspiration out of it don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed what i shared stay blessed